So, we will start with the single configuration first. So, what the single configuration is? It is a widget for embedding a single object or visualization or sheet into a web page. Okay. It is a widget which will enable the API. So, these are uh, this, these are kind of uh, uh, engines uh, whose output is going to be an API. Okay. API means mm -hmm. it is a kind of a service okay, you are, yeah. which will give service to other applications. So, it suggests the same widget for embedding single objects. It will give you a sim single object as the name is single configuration and that object can be embedded or binded in another web application. Okay, so it is an integration. So integration of your visualization or your dashboard in another web application. But how would that be possible in click normal click sense? ClickSense is a different language, ClickU is a different language, whereas a HTML website, a Java website, a .NET website is a different technology. How that can be embedded? So, that's the possibility to generate the APIs. Mashup will generate APIs, um, single configuration will generate APIs. Okay, so. I'll go and create an API over here. Single API. Okay, here I have to think of like what exactly I want to generate as API. Okay, what visualization I want to generate as API so that I would like to embed that in my website. So my website is this one. This is my official website. Now in the website, it's a different technology altogether. It's a PHP website. Whereas I want mm -hmm. to integrate my mashup application in the website. My ClickSense application in the website. ClickSense application backend is Excel or SQL Server. Whereas this website backend is uh, something different, which is uh, MySQL. So there is no relationship between their databases. So it is basically front-end integration. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to take a dashboard which is listed here. So all the dashboard which you have created in the ClickSense desktop will be listed over here. So you can choose any dashboard. So this is the chart yesterday which we have created, right? The matrix report. I want this okay. has to be a part of my website. So when I'm selecting a particular object of a particular dashboard, instantly it is creating a link. Okay. So the link is this URL. This URL can be copied and can be open in a separate web page. Okay. Now you see this chart has become static. I mean, it is not interactive. Yeah. I'm not able to click it. Mm -hmm. I can also make it interactive. So go to the URL here. Operation. Mm -hmm. No interaction. I'll just remove the no. Then interaction. You see, it is now dynamic. It can be clickable. Okay, 
I can click it. Mm. So now I want this visualization, which is a dynamic and graphical visualization. I want this to be part of my website and the end user will get uh, inside of that this this application this uh, visualization inside my application and they will think that this data is coming from my website okay so mm -hmm. how do I take this uh, number in my website I cannot take this URL I can open this URL outside in a web browser but if you want to embed for embedding you have to write the code for iframe okay so already it has created the iframe html code this is considering the entire this particular script and this uh, url it just added a source of iframe you see iframe mm -hmm. src equal to this url so this can be created now how it is being mapped with the object every object in ClickSense has a unique ID as you can see this particular object has this unique ID which is very lengthy and it is hashed in click view mm -hmm. we could give the object name explicitly right it was for sheet you see it is sh0102 like that for Zero object two, yeah. for chart, yes for chart it is very short so you could see this mm -hmm. but in ClickSense we cannot get the property right from the property of the object okay right. so but right. here in dev hop we can get the unique id of the object so this url just match the id of this object and i can simply copy this code then i have to go inside the website so this this is the website I want to place it uh, somewhere here. Okay. Join as a trainer, join as a student. Just below that, I want to place it. So, this website is being built through the CMS portal, which is WordPress, WordPress. And I go to my uh, WordPress login and then try to create the website, try to update the website. So this would be an integration over here. Mm -hmm.
So I'll create a code for the division and then I'll paste this code over here. Now what I'll do, I need to configure it to work as an interaction mode. No interaction mm -hmm. is written. I'll simply remove it in, to interaction. Then the width, width would be 100% and height I want to define because if you give height 100% it will not take any specific height. So I have to give mm -hmm. the height is say uh, 350, 400, okay, 400 px pixel. Now I'll make a preview of this. Let's see how the integration is working. Mm inside the web page only I can see it so when a user will see this you'll have a very good impression on the it's, it's basically getting the statistics of your company so in the same way if you have a say steel plant if you have a production plant or if you have any um, industry which is generating the products or stocks on a real-time basis which is integrated with their SAP system uh, and they are directly showing the data to click sense so that is also possible to show the outcome to the website because the end user cannot have the click sense access right so end user right, yeah. mm -hmm. hire management or all the managements or all the employees of the uh, industry uh, company they want to see the total growth the total sales the total um, you know any variations of the data but they cannot be given the access to ClickSense. So ClickSense access is limited to few users only. And the same type of analytics you can integrate in your company website where you can show these are the stocks, these are the productions, these are the limitations, there is the profit, whatever the outcome you have in a business, you can show this to the public for a user point of view okay so this is what the integration is this is what we call as a single api integration so single object as a api being integrated with the website 